We continue talking about mysteries, in this case the story that could never be closed, a true unsolved case. If it is already agonizing for a family to see one of their children disappear, today I want to share with you a dramatic story, the story of a family that saw five of their children disappear the same night. One day before Christmas 1945 today we will know the history of Sadr children. This terrible story has its beginning the day before Christmas 1945, at the home of the Sadr family. The couple had ten children, but a terrible fire in their home in Fayetteville, West Virginia, reduced it to ashes. After the fire, five of the children were never seen again. The first theories pointed to that they died because of the flames, but in the rest of the burned house they did not find any rest of the children, something unlikely, if not impossible. The results of the investigations indicated that the cause of the terrible fire was caused, since the results gave very strange data, such as that the telephone line had been previously cut and that the only staircase that the family had in their house was found in an embankment more than 75 meters away. Because no remains of their children were found, George and Jenny, the parents, insisted on clinging to the idea that their children were still alive, somewhere. But to the strange discoveries another one was added, desperate George, in presence of the agents of the authority and numerous witnesses, tried to rise with his light truck to a top near the house, but what was his surprise when the truck did not start, the engine had been manipulated to prevent it from working. The authorities investigated all the possible clues, but the case became much more enigmatic when, after questioning the parents of the children, they affirmed that some time before the fire, they were visited by two strange men who were threatened with burning their children. House and the possibility that their children would disappear forever. One of the men, recall George, the father of the children, who was an Italian immigrant, who would pay for all the offensive comments he was making about Mussolini throughout the town. As if this were strange, that man was present at the trial where the fire of the Sadr house was considered an accident. Other information that came to light after the interrogations and investigations were that eyewitnesses to the events claimed to have seen a man in the vicinity of the Sadr's house with a hoist, which could be the one used to manipulate the vehicle and prevent it from starting. Days later George informed the authorities that in his garden he had found a rubber object, which appeared to be a napalm bomb, or his remains. But as if all this were not enough, a security camera from a roadside diner, as well as a witness from the Charleston Hotel, said they saw four of the five missing children in the company of a group of men and women with an Italian appearance who did not they were allowed to talk to anyone. Despite all the clues, none of them shed light on what appeared to be an unprecedented family tragedy. But when the Sauter family seemed to have come up with the idea and tried to mitigate the pain of the loss of their five children, in 1968, more than 20 years after that fateful night, they received a supposed photograph of their five children in the company of an unknown man. In the back of the photograph the following text appeared, Louis Sauter, I love you brother, Frankie, Cheeky OA90132, or 90315. The family hired a private detective named Tinsley to investigate the photograph received and the possibility that the photo was of their children, but within a few weeks Tinsley disappeared, never heard from again. The authorities closed the case and refused to investigate more closely the same, their conclusions were that the fire had been accidental and that, in spite of not being found remains, the five children had died in the fire. George and Jenny died if they knew the truth about what happened that Christmas Eve at home.